In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a signature like this one. So open up a new image, and the um, image size I'll be using is 470 by 170. Now make sure your background is white, and go to Filters, Artistic, Get Impressionist. Now select Ballpark under your presets, select ballpark, and make sure you check apply. This is important. Now go to, now just select OK. Now go to filters, blur, motion blur. And for your angle, put in 180. And for your length, put in 100. Or you can put it around 100. Now make a new layer and go to, or fill it with white, and go to Filters, Artistic, Impressionist. And again, under Presets, select Ballpark, and check Apply, and select OK. Then go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Um, pretty much the same settings again, but this time um, I'm going to put the angle around uh, 145, 147. Now set this layer mode onto overlay and merge that layer down. Now you should just have one background layer. Now go to colors, color balance, and um, I already have some settings set in there. But you can customize these settings however you'd like. I'm just going to make mine blue. Now make another new layer and get your paintbrush tool and select a fuzzy brush and just kind of paint the outside like this and set that onto overlay. And you can duplicate it several, or actually don't duplicate it. Or you can just lower the opacity if you want. Now you pretty much have the ba uh, your background, and you can just add whatever you want. But I am also going to, I have some abstract brushes. If I can find the link where I got them, I will provide a link in the description. Um, I'm just going to use the colors black and white, and just kind of brush around on the edges with it. And then I'm just going to set this on to... overlay. Now for the text I will um, I'm going to use the font base 02 you can I will leave a link in the description if I can find the link again or you can always just google the name Now I'm just going to give the text a um, an outline. So go right click on your text layer and go to alpha to selection. Now create a new layer and put it behind your text layer. Now go to and set your color, your foreground color is black and go to edit stroke selection and for stroke line, I'm just going to, for the line width, I'm just going to put 4. Then select None. Now you can go ahead and merge your layer, uh, your text layer down with the border layer. Now again, alpha to selection your text layer. And this, and get your rectangular select tool. And for option, your mode, select uh, subtract, which is this one right here. 
or you can just press control and just subtract this bottom part now get your gradient tool and set white as your foreground color now select um, press this gradient right here and select FG to transparent now make new layer and just stroke down you can go ahead and select none this just gives it a kind of gloss or yeah you can go ahead and merge down the highlights with the text layer now duplicate your text layer and select your flip tool which is right here and simply click and it should flip it actually I just uh, select vertical now kind of line up your text now to kind of make it fade out at the bottom I'm going to right click on the copy layer and select add layer mask and select white full opacity now get your gradient tool um, and set your foreground color as black and again FG to transparent for the gradient and just um, I'm pressing control to give it a constrained line and just pull up and once you're done just press control M and this will merge all the layers down and there you go and you can just kind of adjust this however you want um, and I hope this helped.